Welcome back, everybody, to the last section of this episode, and that means that we are going to do some Fantasy League stuff, so I'm going to pass this over to Payton to give us a little bit of an update of different things that have happened. Payton, what's up? Well, we are heading into the next session after the close of Night of Champions, and as such, we haven't really had anything change too dramatically. Uh, Tony's Mangoes, Tony's Tykes is still in last place. Sean Walker's team, what are they calling themselves now? Believers. No, he, he changed the name last week to something. Believers, I think. Believers. The Believers. Something about, what is that, like, is that something with Bo or is that something with Justin? That's uh, Justin Bieber. That's what uh, his fan base is called. Was he going with Believers, like the Justin Bieber thing, or Bo Liebers, like Bo Dallas? I am so confused. Whatever. Uh, uh, he's, he's in fifth place with 611 <laughs> points. <laughs> Steven Huego is in fourth with 621. Miguel Leon's Team Best for Business is in third with 691. Drew White's Drew Crew is in second place with 799. And my Team Next Gen is in first with 1,000. And 45 points. Only 200 more points till I get to that 999. I'll be pumped when I hit that mark. Indeed. All right. So we're going to move into the next part where we're going to do trades, which I believe we got quite a few we want to get out of the way tonight. So I know the ultimate question is uh, ultimately going to be, Tony, what you going to do? You got first pick. Now, can I pick the bunny? (sighs) You can pick the bunny. No. All right, because I clearly it does not matter if I get points or not the way that this team is fucking going. Why pick him up? What I am going to do is I am going to pick up the bunny and I'm going to drop Kofi Kingston to do that. Are you sure? I mean, the super athletic friends look like they're getting a push. Uh, I don't know. I'm All dropping right, Kofi. <laughs> dropping Kofi for the bunny. Sean Walker actually got in touch with me saying that he wanted the bunny, but unfortunately you took that from him. Yeah. So next we head over to Miguel Leon. Miguel, anything else you're interested in? Pass. I wanted the bunny. <laughs> Drew? <laughs> um, I'm, if anyone has an interesting trade for Roman Reigns, I'll listen. Hmm. John Cena? Not? Wait, he's injured. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, I'd typically pick up Tyson Kidd, but nah, I'm, I'll pass. I'll give you uh, Cesaro for Roman Reigns. I would do it. Uh, uh, what do you do? No, 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 I'm not going to do it. You got to figure Roman Reigns doesn't come back until at least the Royal Rumble. Yeah, but what if he does come back and win the Royal Rumble and Peyton has him on his team? We'll all be fucked. <laughs> then he'll win matches from Royal Rumble onward, but the next couple of months he won't. But Mango, it's like, I, I got, I'm like the last hope of anyone beating him. So yeah, that's why I'm telling you that you should switch over to the, uh, Cesaro and Roman Reigns thing. I'll give it, I, I have one more week. So, until I start losing points, correct? Uh, I think so, yes. Yeah, well, if, I only lose five points, ten points if he doesn't show up, right? Five but, points the first, then ten, then fifteen, then twenty. And oh, yes. Yeah, so oh. I, I, I could lose five points. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, if, if we loop around, I, I do want to make a trade because I, I just realized there is somebody that might actually be worth picking up. All right, All right. well. Yeah, I'm done, so go ahead. Uh, first it goes to Wago, though. So. Yeah, that's what uh, Anyone have Mark Henry right now? Uh, uh, Walker does. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, chocolate pain. Um, fuck. I'm just looking at the injured list, and I don't think any of them are going to return until at least November, so I'm going to stick with my team the way it is. All right, Tony, is anyone else for you? No, but um, what's your policy on making trades of different things uh, with other people? Because Sean had said that he would want to trade me Randy Orton for The Miz. Um, unless I hear that from Sean, I'm not going right. to make that official. We, we can work on that, though. <clears throat> uh, Miguel, you had someone else you wanted to go with? Yes, um, it seems like they're going to be doing something with this guy, so hopefully there is something they're going to do. So I'm going to drop Triple H, and I'm going to pick up Luke Harper. Smart move. I didn't even think about that. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot Luke about Harper. that. Didn't you have Luke Harper, Tony? Mm-mm. Uh, oh, Big Show, oh, Dean Ambrose, Nikki Bella, The Bunny, and The Miz. Well, well, I had, wanna... him at one, he had him at one point. Well, That's I want to rewind the whole session, and I'll pick up Luke Harper. <laughs> <laughs> you had your chance. All right, then. Well, Drew, anything you want to do? I am scotch-free done. What? 
scotch free done? He's Drew, can you shut done. up, please? <laughs> hmm. Anyone else, or can I go? <laughs> uh, it would actually go to me next. Thinking about picking up that Slater Gator. Oh, actually, that's not a bad idea. They're, they're gonna, gonna have. They're gonna lose they, a lot. Yeah, they're gonna get pushed for a week though. Oh, uh, you gotta pick up the alligator though. No question. <laughs> you could pick up Hornswoggle going into uh, Leprechaun Origins. You might be getting some stuff, but um, it's my turn right now, and oh, this sucks. I didn't expect to have to make this choice. You gotta pick up Santino since he's going in the Royal Rumble, according to Drew, and then <laughs> moving well, on. I never play. said that. You're the one who said it, not me. Drew is no sub of Chatterjee, so. <laughs> Well, Stardust and Paige are worth holding on to, uh, same as Brock Lesnar. The only two I think that you'd probably is Paige worth it. holding on to. She's still in her program she's gonna with win, AJ. She's going to win the title back a couple times. Yeah, yeah. I feel they're going to yeah. keep that going. At they're going to, yeah, they're going to hot roost with that shit for the next six months. Yeah, yeah whatever. Okay, I'll hold. Way go you too. Um, I'll drop right back and pick Triple H up. You have right back. No, you don't have Ryback. Yeah, I, picked him. I picked him last week. Really? Your me... team only... when, who did you drop? Because the old... I, I Chris think... Jericho. Jericho. Oh, okay. Maybe so if you fucking turned so into the show or turned Jericho. up, you'd fucking yeah. know. Maybe if you didn't turn out halfway and actually listen to the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I went too far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Anybody, anything else anybody wants to do before we close this out? Can we build him up? Can we like pick on Miguel some more? <laughs> I think we're good. All right, folks. For the latest news, stay tuned to keepingkfabe.com. All right, guys. That means we're gonna roll on into the plugs here. Way go. UDMMA.com, Facebook.com slash UDMMA, and Twitter.com slash UDMMA. For your MMA needs, go to UDMMA. Also, check out Addicted to Anime on MegapowersRadio.com. You can go to Facebook.com slash Addicted Anime Fans for all your information on that. Also, fuck Drew White. Drew? Hey, you took my flex on the sack thing, but nah, hashtag Drew Crew for life. Everyone knows that. You know what I'm saying? And then fuck Tony Sykes. So now, say, Waco... say that again, and wait. Say that again, and this time do it in a voice that we can actually hear. <laughs> He's not... doing his best short impression. Waco goes, "Fuck your white," and your response is, "Fuck Tony Dykes." <laughs> <laughs> I want to know why you want to fuck children. Still, you fucking weirdo. What is it when you're trying to fuck the Tykes? I don't know, dude. There's Tykes. Something about them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be used as evidence later on in life. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Yeah, the funniest thing is I'm totally for... not editing it out either. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You just said, I know, I know, so you're going to admit to what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, it's not the worst thing we've we've said on this show. Uh, the, the most thing that we've said that's been worse has been off the air. <laughs> yeah, thank God you don't have record of that. Plug for the All Talk Show, coming up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miguel, your plugs. Uh, Twitter.com slash unmovie show is where you can go if you need to get information on my show. The show itself is the unmovie is the uh, no, the uh, untitled movie show every Wednesday night on blogtalkradio.com at 8 p.m. I just finished recording our latest episode, which we did a retrospective on the Predator series. And next week we're going to be doing our monthly news episode where we talk about the news from the previous month moving forward. So definitely check that out. Uh, blogtalkradio.com uh, the untitled movie show Wednesday nights 8pm on blogtalkradio.com and like I said twitter.com slash unmovie show to keep track of uh, any uh, updates you know it's funny you did the predator series did you do the one that Drew was in um, how to catch a predator <laughs> <laughs> you're getting ahead of yourself that's happening later on I love this. Drew's like the new joke is Drew's a pedophile. <laughs> get behind this. Aren't you? No. Well, technically, isn't he still young enough to be within the age group? No. Not for like twelve-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm just letting you know. Under fifteen, gets a man ten and twenty. What? what? Okay, so stick within the fifteen-year-old range, and you're fine. No, you illegal age of consent sixteen. Are you actually like supporting his habit? <laughs> Listen, man's gotta have <laughs> man's gotta have his outlet, you know. Oh as long God. as he doesn't I... do it, as long as I'm not, you know, 
As long as I don't wouldn't get locked up if he got locked up, then oh, I'm fuck, fine. Dude. This sucks. I can never say that again. I Tune literally made a terrible for mistake. A retrospect on greatest pedophiles for movies. <laughs> so, uh, so next week's episode, since Drew White is gone, we're gonna do a superstar scores Drew White. What? Can someone do that plug so we can go home? <laughs> Drew White versus Danny Newton. I don't know. I I probably wouldn't be able to kick out of that big Newton. Uh, Might be too can. much for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not WrestleMania. Listen, it's not WrestleMania, and so I'm not gonna be kicking out of finishers left and right, man. However, all right, Peyton, ah. <laughs> round us out here with these vlogs, please. <laughs> all right, wrestling fans, if you enjoyed this show, you should be joining us every single Monday night following the conclusion of Raw on www.megapowersradio.com, where we go live immediately after that show ends. Join us where for the most interactive post-Raw experience available, where you'll be able to join the chat room, call in live, get your voices heard, and all the same characters you hear will be there as well. It's always a party time, and it's always crazier. Why? Because it's live. And super shout-outs to some of the fans we got over there. Specifically, if he's listening here, Silent Wind of Doom for do? sending in this little theme song for Mr. Drew White. Where in the world is... <laughs> and Drew's left. And Drew leaves the call. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. He actually did leave the call. All right. <laughs> Where in the world is Drew? Indeed. <laughs> So thank you, everybody, on the panel this evening. Thank you, everybody, listening in for the show. And uh, next week we will be doing either Wrestling with the Past, a retrospective look at different moments in Hell in a Cell, or maybe we'll be doing it called The Spot of different things. Maybe we'll do something else that we'll just throw out there. I'm not 100% sure, so stay tuned. That episode will be recorded Wednesday, October 8th, because the 9th and onward we will be at New York Comic Con. So if you are in the area and you are able to join in on the fun with New York Comic Con, make sure you guys stop by, say hello to us. We will not be having a table like we have in previous uh, different conventions that we've done, but we will be walking around doing a bunch of crazy shit, and uh, we'd love to say hi to anybody who is going. And we will be doing whatever we do next week. We will tell you what's going on on the Facebook, Twitter accounts, and smartcoutmoment.com. So check out all those. Stay tuned for whatever ends up happening. This has been another Smart Out moment, and we're being counted out. So for this outro, I'm going to present to you guys something a little bit weird. It is a message that was left on a voicemail for my Google Voice number. I'm not sure why, but it made me chuckle, and I figured it would make you guys chuckle as well. So here you go. This is uh, Tony Mango. How you doing? This is uh, Christopher Walterson of uh, Christopher Walterson and Smitherson and Jacobs Incorporated. We are very interested in uh, your work on the... Um... Chris said, what's the sport? NFL? NFL? The NFL. What? W, uh, the wrestling teams. We're very interested in your, uh, your work on the... Uh, the uh, the wrestlers that you do, they talk about the wrestlers. Talk about the who? The Rock? Johnson? What's his name? What's his name? Dwayne? Dwayne Gretzky. If you want, you can call us back at uh, Herbie Man, Memphis Underground. You'll know where to find us when you see the fan and the acoustic guitar and the furby and the black curtains, and the Lego t-shirt, and the futon, and the warning signs, and the Richard Nixon, and Cartman. I hate you, Panda. It's, uh, you'll, uh, you'll see the, the registered trademark, Disney Incorporated. This is Dace.